DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one live from the dirty section of YouTube. Today we go talk about the time Trick Trick got shot in a nightclub after an altercation with Jim Jones. Now let's get into it. Mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers, Facts. ACG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies Ooh. and early 90s when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find me. Unless you check the lobby, hustling was my hobby. We was lobby boys yep. before Jim Jones. You could catch me at Harlem eating Jim Bones. Uh. Now, Mr. No Fly Zone himself is no stranger to drama. He done had altercations with Styles P and the Locks, Trick Daddy, Young Berg, just to name a few. Trick Trick is known for putting Detroit on his back, making sure all rappers from other cities and towns that come to Detroit show his hometown love. Now, some people call it extortion. Or some people may even call it friendly extortion, but it's simply just showing respect by checking in. Now the whole no fly zone was created so the Detroit artists could get some acknowledgement from other rappers from other towns coming to Detroit to do business. But in 2009, in a night spot in Detroit called Esco Lounge, Trick Trick will find himself on the opposite side of the battlefield from Jim Jones. Now when the article from allhiphop.com it says sources told allhiphop.com that about 10 men rushed the lounge area where they became involved in an altercation with Jim Jones of Harlem, New York. Shots were fired during the ruckus and Trick Trick born Christian Mathis was struck in the thigh while another unidentified man was hit in the arm. Detroit police said a well-known rapper and his friend was shot outside a Detroit nightclub early Monday morning. The two men were shot outside Esco Lounge on Michigan Avenue near Shelby Street around 1.15 a.m. Police identified one of the victims as Christian Mathis, who's better known as Trick Trick, which is his stage name. The men got into a fight with rapper Jim Jones and shots with fire, police said. Local 4 confirmed Mathis was taken to the emergency room at Detroit Receiving Hospital. He is in serious condition. The other man's condition is unknown. Police are still looking for the gunman. The rapper went on a popular radio show Monday morning and told them he had not been shot. However, the Detroit police and hospital representatives has confirmed Mathis was shot. Mathis also told the radio station on Monday that he was home resting and chilling at the time of the shooting. He told the radio show he received a concerned phone call from his mother after she saw a report on television that he has been shot. He told Mojo in the morning, I ain't left the house since Saturday. Now that was the full article and you know basically this story gets straight to the point. Basically, Jim Jones is in the club in Detroit and Trick Trick is in that club with his people. He see Jim Jones and he run down on Jim Jones. Now as he run down on Jim Jones, he gets shot along with one of his homeboys. You get what I'm saying? Now for some reason he didn't want it, the word to go out that that was him that was shot. But the police confirmed it was him that got shot. People on the scene confirmed it was him that got shot. And I feel like he ain't want people to know because he probably was embarrassed. He probably felt like they took an L. You get what I'm saying? Like trick tricking them is known to run down on people. Now you run down on somebody and you get hit. It's just a bad look. It's nothing to be celebrated. It's nothing to parade about that. You took an L and I guess that's how trick trick felt. Now get in the comment section if you know what the beef was between trick trick and Jim Jones. Leave it in the comment section and tell me. You know, usually when I do these stories, I'll be full aware of how the beef started, but I forgot all about this story. But thank God Trick Trick and Jim Jones both are alive and well and they're still out here doing their thing. And I hope this is something that they both got passed. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, tell me what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you appreciate these old hip-hop stories, tell a friend to tell a friend about my channel. And I'm out. One.